It may not be popular among students, but by next school year, Fairfax County Public Schools will restrict when kids can use their cell phones. The school board voted to change the policy Thursday night after a lengthy discussion. Many school leaders say phones have been a big learning hurdle. So many conflicts that have come up as a result of access to the phones during the school day, in addition to the significant distraction it causes in the classroom. Stress and anxiety associated with increased social media usage is real. Elementary middle school students must have their phones silenced and put away for the entire school day. For high school kids, phones are only allowed in between periods and lunches. Students cannot use phones and tablets in restrooms and locker rooms unless for medical purposes or during an emergency. I think it's going to be very hard to enforce, but I also would believe that Kids being constantly on their cell phones is a huge distraction. It's disrespectful to the teachers. Teachers can allow cell phone use for lessons and activities. When one board member raised the concern of how parents need to get a hold of their child during the day, one principal discussed alternatives. So we have a phone in every classroom. We also have a main office phone that students come down and use. Um, they use it during passing periods. We have parents who, who send um, emails to our AA. But there are parents who say that's simply not enough, concerned about safety and overall communication with their kids. Kids. I think that it's every student's right in today's world to carry their cell phone with them on their person, accessible, live, turned on, all throughout the day. You don't know when a student is going to need that cell phone. I also don't believe that the way we best serve children is an absolute. While there are questions about how much of a difference this will make, most school officials and a sample of parents who answered a survey agree with the new changes, as another year brings new protocols to adapt to. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.